and blocked at the same time. Okay, but if I'm inside, I'm negative, right? right? So I may need to roll once, roll once to try to pin four. So inside position is very difficult to work. It depends on how much power he's going to give me. Right. So the more power he gives me, I'm going to oh, oh, pop. Or no power, he's too loose, but his center is open. Take it. Three. Pull him into the next opponent. The next opponent. So remember the three second rule. And one second, maybe. Sometimes you have two seconds. Rarely you see a third second. Fourth second, you die. So you don't want to spend any more than one second, maybe two. You have to break out. There's too much chance of multiple opponents will get you. So you engage him, strike him, use his body to block the next one. That's the point off. Lindsay, you can already solve the yeah. stuff that's on there. Is but you have to engage. So in Chi Sao, it's just a drill. But once you get dexterity, you push your hands together. If we step together, we just touch. I don't know. Oh, what are my hands? You got to know. My hands are inside. Yeah. And because you're inside, you did by touch, I know, even without looking, his elbow's too far out to stop me. So I'm going to take the inside. And just hold this just enough. People hate being held there. So he's going to pull his hand back, bless his heart, and then, I'm going to take that too. Mm -hmm. Likewise, if we were engaging, he was on the inside. So step two, we don't, ah! Never heard of that one. I'm showing that. Doesn't happen in math class either at school. <laughs> this is zero equals four. Oh, oh, oh. One lock. Right. Now pull his weight forward so he can't kick. Right. Pull his hip in front of the other leg. Right. Pull this shoulder down. Right. I'm only checking that shoulder. I neutralize four limbs, but I have all four of mine. So zero equals four. Four neutralized. Yeah? Wow. Yep. So back. So engage. Oh. Hey, don't hurt me. Touch your hand, whatever. It doesn't matter. So somebody said. But the floating palm, just because I have him, he blocked the hand, ah, then you lost off. Right? See this? Close one inch over here. What's called a floating punch, right? I still break all his ribs with his own arms. I touch his arms, I break all the ribs. I don't need to pull my hand back. I just float my palm. Work through. Use your fudging um, uh, harmonics, body harmonics, joint harmonics. So as soon as you touch it, you catch his elbow, break all his ribs. Don't pull back. So so we're we're keep, we keep our elbow. Yeah, you gotta keep your elbow in. But you gotta also be springy because you gotta take absorb. Don't put it against your body. If you're stuck, if I'm stuck, just like the wooden dummy says, I'm stuck. I have a losing situation. I'm stuck. I'm getting killed over here. Plop. <laughs> I'm stuck against the wall. Where's the wall? I'm stuck against the wall over here. The wall. Here we In the worst this. case, stuck against the wall. Jesus smokes, guys. And you get caught because you're playing somewhere, you're pinned from the side. So the wooden dummy says what? Use this as a pivot point. Pull it. Just rotate. Close the door. Understand that? Just because you got your pin, it's okay. Turn time. Let the elbow sink away. Turn time. Bring yourself up to square. Reverse the box and do uh, zero equals one again. Remember bad math? Then, pull it off what you can. So every time you get the wooden dummy, right? Your hand is caught two and one, you do what? Two and one, you got two hands and you're one. You're caught off center. You cannot right. punch over, right? Yeah. Change your right. Right. Crane wing, 
fold, change. Recover your box from a losing situation to a winning situation. Because not every time you're going to be in a winning situation, you may be losing. Cut two and one. Worst case, he's gonna kill you. You stay there too long. Shush. Yeah, you are. Wow. Get pulled over there. You got turned. And he re-gage. So there's your dummy, right? See? That's our dummy, right? Sit. Yeah, recover the. Cause I'm losing. A two and one, I didn't jerk off, pull, he captured my hand. I don't want him to break my elbow. So I need to bend it. I need to cover my legs a little bit. So as I step off, keep it bent and turn right down. Well, my legs are already over there, then I just step again. Okay. Cover your box. Nathan's okay. still not here, so you might as well just... Uh, no, no, we've got time. Yeah, you're here. this is good for them. It's yeah, good for me. Well, we're here for the last show to come. The more, the more we get him on tape, the better. Oh, here's Nathan. So, remember losing situations, and you also the jump. How other situations are, are typical, are the fame, the... I got it. Are you right-handed? Uh -huh. He has his left hand back and get this. Get this situation. Very hard. Don't bother doing this kind of crap like that. <laughs> and Wing Chun says, quickly, but you can push. Oh. Hum Sao. Hum Sao. Right? Hook. Take it off. Use a number two on Chi Sao. Cut. All right. Number one, Chi Sao. Number three in Sansi. Cut inside to punch. Let his hand stay engaged. Hopefully you can grab. Let him grab your hand. So it follows your hand, not to grab him at all. Keep his hand engaged. <laughs> okay. so. Number one. So you have to <laughs> take the neck, grab off. So at the end of the dummy sections you have what? <coughs> Pull one, tuck one. If on side, if on side, pull. Okay? Pull. If the hand is awkward and stuck, you went wrong. Ugh. Hard to pull against that one, right? So you tuck them. Twist a little bit, tuck. Right? If he's a stinker, his hand down, can you break that elbow? Can't, so you have to attack his back. God, jeez! Attack his back and keep this turn. Hey! Turns his back to you as you like. <laughs> so, at the end of every dummy section, not every, most dummy sections you're gonna what? Right? You have the hewn. Alright, how many of you know section one in the swords? Okay. In Wing Chun, all the weapons are dead today. People have guns, the ultimate weapon, right? So, guns. But well, days of old, not too many people had guns. You still use your blades and your poles. And by the oral tradition in Wing Chun, the Fukin Temple was sacked. Those guys had guns. So the movies you guys see, they're fighting these swords and all that. The heroic end, like the Alamo, right? Fuck the last man. Uh, well, I don't know how much myth or legend is crept into this story. But that's what the movies say. In the oral tradition, the Qing army showed up, didn't fire. Guns. All right. The elders didn't skate prior to the sacking of the temple. The nun is the youngest. 
The other four are men. It takes them two years to make it to Sichuan province. And their ugliness breaks out. The elders can't agree with each other. There's a big fight. And in, in the end, only the nun is going to be teaching. Uh, one of the monks, Fung Do Duck, takes off. Teaches only a small group. So it is Ying Mui the nun. Her name was Lu, actually. She was a general's daughter. The general's daughter. She couldn't have them. The sword system is predicated on a base of touching drills. You must get the touching drills before you go through the sections, the 12 additional sections of, of ideas to touch against other weapons. But before we get there, you need to have a base called touch, touch base. And actually, if you're real good at touch base, you don't need anything else. You know how to shortcut and touch. The whole thing is, don't use a lot of power. And the short swords, unlike other schools which have all that, drop it on. Wei Chen's all got these little shortcuts. Shortcuts. Okay. So I'm on my toes and balls, not my heels and hand. Right. Very sharp touching. Okay. There are some longer sweeping cuts later. But the base is only jab, you see tan, chang. The idea is to gain stickiness in the steel. If I blast the weapon, it flies away. What's wrong with that? Can't be sorry to have the memory, huh? I got it to work. Yeah, but it keeps cutting out on me. It's cut out about ten times. Do we have a plug on this side anywhere? I got it to work. Yeah, I had it working too, Lisa. It's just a, it, no, no, I would. Okay, I'll just face, shoot it that way. And, well, uh, how about if you go down that, that side? Go down that side, shoot it this way. It's okay. I can get over here, Joe. Okay, John, hopefully we won't get cuts out now. Well, they think got the good Sony, you need the real Japanese camera. <laughs> Canon's Japanese too, but I don't know what's happened to it. It was American one time, but Japanese bought it out. I just need to go buy some batteries real quick. Crane head wakens. Crane head sleeps. Sleeps. This is because I have more power with my jumps all the time. Oh, it was pretty good. My first, uh, one of my first ever roller coaster ride. I've usually been a chicken about that kind of thing. But uh, this time, uh, me and my wife, and she closed her eyes the whole way. So, I've never been a roller coaster before. I was one time's enough. Which one you go on? One in California. No, no, no. We have wire here. I got off, my wife and I had this big brown patch on the back of her pants. <laughs> that was it. One time, when I got back, it was a, it was a thrill. She, she had her eyes open only for a second, and that was it. She just closed them. Hung off with your life. Her arms are all strained. They're all sore today. <laughs> she was holding on so tight. Knuckles stay white. Relax. You do that, um... Yeah, no, I didn't do that. I saw that. Was it a parachute drop thing? Yeah, that thing is crazy. Yeah. No, I didn't think I wanted that, man. I, no. I didn't want to do that one. Yeah. There's a
When are you planning to go to Disneyland? We went yesterday. Oh, no, you went to California theme park? Yeah, we went, went for the first five hours there. Oh, we went for three hours to closing at Disneyland. Okay. So I got through the Star Wars thing with the films, and that was it. And we have to go back on Monday, probably Monday afternoon. I'll go to Universal Studios in the morning. Uh huh. <laughs> then we'll yeah. catch the rest of Disneyland on Monday afternoon, if I have the time. And then I have a day when I come back to on the 27th. For okay. Great. So, this still recording. You know the when you. Good. Yeah. It looks like it'll be stable. You know what I think happens, John? And I supercharge the batteries, and then they they start cutting out on me. So it's, I'm glad we have the cord. Good thing I'm running. Is your DVD? Yeah, the DVD. Oh, that's good. It'll be easier to transfer to. You want to put it on the other side there, or you put it all on one side? I put it on that side. It's fine. Yeah, we have crossfire of views. It's up to you, dude. You can put it where you want. Just watch out for the guys backing up to the cameras. I lost mine, or you guys Try backing up? And you gotta put it over there more. I'll grab it. Okay. Then you know, Lenny and Thomas. Lenny just backed it. up and ran the camera over. My whole camera went. Kill it. The one you saw now is a couple years old. It's okay. I couldn't repair it. Was repair cost more than that camera? Yeah, I paid a hundred. 150 for a pair on this side. Yeah, no, it's a It's still standing here. I'll tell you. Got one of the most important bong, things. Get your bong up. Get your bong. You using it, you gotta take Dead it. bong society. <laughs> hey. hey. Dead bong. Yeah, they're, 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 they're just beginners. My goofy brother teaching dead bongs. <laughs> hey, you guys can't be in trouble. What did I tell you? Elbow is higher than the wrist. On your central. Go slow. Oh, yeah. Where's your hair? Kevin, more Wong John, not a cut Okay. Okay, guys, go back. Try to step back as much as you can so the cameras don't get in the way. Okay, uh, first of all, first of all, excuse me. This is uh, Master John D. Virgilio. Uh, from the Hawaii Wing Chun Kung Fu Association. Uh, gathered here today, we have uh, members of the Lake Forest Wing Chun Kung Fu Association. And we'd also like to thank uh, Dr. Ch Dr. Chang uh, from the California Martial Arts Academy and uh, for letting us use his, his studio. Okay. Thank you. yourself there. I want Okay, so not everyone is going to have the aptitude for the blades. Some will be really sharp, people pick it up fast, some will take years. My teacher Yoon learned one section a year. <laughs> His teacher Wang Chang Yong learned one section a year. And they are considered gifted people picked by their teachers. So I hope. Uh, I don't poison you guys by showing too much too fast, which is what's going to happen to you anyway. So, the only, uh, once you get poisoned, the only antidote is years of practice, section at a time. Right? Otherwise, uh, it would be a miserable life never knowing how far you could have gotten if you stopped practicing. So, use the blades. Our primary target will be the hand. Do not chase the body, do not chase the foot, hand. You may be lucky enough to get a knee that's left behind. But we're going to be looking for targets where now? Uh, so we like cutting off fingers, thumbs, all those neat things that hang out there. And that's what we're going to go for. Cut those fingers off. All you need is one finger to get in. Once you do get in, if you thrust to the body, it's usually a mistake. If I thrust to the body, unless it's an instant kill, chances it won't. If you go into a person's body, 
Your blade is sharp. He doesn't feel it for the first second. He grabs your blade and he sticks you in it. So guess what? Even though you got there first, both of you die. We don't want that, right? So the lesson is do not chase the body when you fight with the blades. Go for the hand. I'm going to say it again and again and again. However, in hand to hand Wing Chun, don't chase the hand. Go for the body. Like that? Just the opposite. Does that make sense? Okay. So in hand, as soon as I touch, I'm looking for the shot to the head or the body. I'm not going to be chasing the hand all over the place. Stupid. Weapons. We don't care about the body. We're looking for the hands. Okay. Some of you are more advanced students no longer just finish your into self perfecting right Like the hand, you don't want clutter in your mind. Beginner guys all have this, oh, let me chase out and like, oh no, 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 the timing is, you're still thinking of all this stuff in your head. You want a clear mind, so you got to tell yourself, I don't care. I don't care how good he is, I don't care how bad he is. I don't care. I'm just doing my best. If anything, fill your opponent's mind with garbage, with fakes and all kinds of stuff, threats, intimidation. Let his brain go nuts. And your brain, you gotta tell yourself what? I don't care. But don't be so I don't care as you hypnotize yourself. That can happen too, right? You still gotta have intent. So we're talking about the mind here, which is predominant over everything. Clarity of mind with intent to do maximum damage. All right. So yes, you shouldn't be picking up weapons unless there's an intent or need to actually really hurt somebody in a bad way. All right. Now Wing Chun has just preferred the short weapons in China. It's forbidden for anyone else to have long weapons unless you're the constable. The town marshal and his deputies, the head of spears and all that. All the rest of the common joes, poles and short swords. That's all you're allowed. Okay. So you need to be, as a commoner, very good with short swords and the pole. The two most practical weapons. And those weapons will give you ideas of timing over other things. So by working with the weapons, like long timers here who uh, work with the hands, if you practice more and more, you're going to find things get slower. The timing gets so good. You know those beginning guys? They're so damn slow. It makes you look bad to try to practice against them, right? You're just ahead of them. So things get slower. The more you practice, things get slower. But your timing gets so much better. And the weapons timing will be that way too. You're going to get much faster with your hands. The timing is going to be a little different in your hands. So we covered three things. What the targets are, what kind of mind you need to have, and eventual practice. Things get slower. You need to find friends, Kung Fu brothers, shadow partners willing to give you looks. And you must respect them give them the same amount of time it looks back. It is your obligation to help your Kung Fu brother and sister get better. So I help Dayton in 20 minutes, Dayton gives me back 20 minutes. I try to help draw out his skill, he tries to help draw out my skill. Maybe I'm not as good as him, but he does his best. So if I look shitty, whose fault is it? At least partially. Dayton's fall! He's not giving enough looks! Alright? So I don't want to look bad, so I want to make sure Dayton looks good. So I give him as many looks as he needs. And I know what part, let's say, or any of you, if I were your partner, right? What part you're kind of weak in, I'm going to work on that. Over and over, you know, 10,000 times. You're going to touch on that, you get good at it. So Wing Chun's a partner system. You need to have people draw your skill. So you've got to respect each other. Without respect, nothing else works. 
hopefully you find someone close to your skill, and that's the teacher's obligation. Eventually, you need to pair up students who can best feed and draw off on each other. Because they're either close in height, skill, and they can bloom together. If too good of a skill and too and really bad, it tends to backfire. If, if the new guy gets worse, and the bad guy gets worse too. Jump. The good guy gets worse. You got gets, so you have a double worse. Bad, bad, bad. You have double bad now. So you need to pair off with someone close to your skill to boom. All right. Now, once you get through the whole knife system, it's not meant for you to be holding you back. You're free to walk out the door, reevaluate every touch, every cut, every idea and tactic and recombine them any way you wish. If you have an eye for other systems and you see them, you can say, oh man, that's total crap. But you know what? That part has some use, but that part really is useful and maybe you need to adopt it. So it's okay to make yourself your own section. In Wing Chun we allow that. When you graduate, you pick up your last section as your own personal section, but don't teach it yours. If you want to keep the Wing Chun name, teach all the traditional stuff, and let your student pick and choose. Right. You understand that? So eventually we want you to be free of systematic prescribed sections. You need to be a touch. Okay? You need to have the eye to look at something and say, that's it. That's really work well. And there's a lot of systems that have a lot of similarities. So if you all have that sense of mind, what works, works, and what doesn't, doesn't. So I pass on to you the obligation, not an easy one. When you get through it all, you're going to get stuck. Look at what's most useful. What is not useful goes to the extinction bin. You know, tough. If you want to be a historian, write it down, it did exist for a purpose that this teacher thought it could be useful in this, fine. But if anything, you got to come back after you go through all the sections. you got to come back. You know what? The base, before we went to the section, was the most important part. So in your return, you're going to see how far you've gotten. But once you get over here, you're going to say, you know what? What was most important was the base, stepping, touching section. And that gives rise to all others. All right? Now, there, let's talk about the blades real quick. Can we, we have all kinds of blades here. Uh, Alan bought these nice, super expensive blades. See where Alan bought these? Uh, I don't worry about them. Stainless steel in China. Most of them all have the same kind. Real nice. Chop a little... Uh, Something where your handle but Anyway, this is what they call a heavy nose blade, which is good for chopping. See how thick it is in the nose here? Good for chopping against spear and pole. But not so good working against other blades. The weight is where? Four. Good for chopping. When you're fighting against other blades, best to have the blade tapered and the weight more back towards the handle. The tang, the hook part, inch too long, but damn, it looks too long. For our use, too long. You want a chin on your handle. You gotta have this. As you touch, the blade may come down. You need to use a chin for your advantage. No chin. Oh, you may deflect and get your other hand. So you want to catch the chin. The tang, catch over here, always turn and cut his hand. All right? So you feel the blade. Anytime you feel a blade, touch the tang. Quickly twist it and cut for the wrist of your fingers. So tang kind of be too long. 
There's some parts where you're going to get hooked up. Ah. And then when you get stuck yourself. So cut that down. Uh, usually the top third is very sharp. The last two thirds is not sharp, but not too, too dull either. It's just a little blunted. Because it's going to take most of the heavy, heavy hitting. All right. Okay. So you usually have two boot knives when you're in horse on a caravan. You don't want to hang it around your pants and pull your pants down. You don't want them in the way over here. It's in the way. You hang it all over the place, booking all over the place. Your boot knives. Right. It's okay to have a third balance knife when you're on a mission of escorting. Like uh, Wing Chun's husband was a salt merchant. The salt was working with gold, things all right from the coast up to the mountains. You carry a third boot knife. So when you're in combat, <coughs> I'm stuck. I can't close. The guy's too damn good. Keeps his distance on a long weapon. Shit, I can't get in. The lead blade, you throw it right at his leg. <coughs> throw it, and you pull out your second blade. So in dire need, you can throw a blade at his foot or his leg. Don't throw it against his body. Right. A little deflection misses and where's your blade? On the wrong side of the water, right? On the other side, forget that. But otherwise, you don't need to throw it, you hang on to your blades. Another rule is never ever, and make sure you get this correct, never ever Sharpen your blade by doing this. It looks pretty. Very little use. Sharpen your blade and sharpen your life. If you have a blade, use it. Don't hide it away. So all that pretty stuff, they look nice and all that. Uh, it looks nice, they flip around with no use at all. The use is not worth use would have had for already extended, right? Okay. So where's the sharp again? The top third. The top third is the sharpest. So you ever see some Chinese guys doing their cheap thing? Look at this. Yeah, I can't get cut. Wow. That's because it's not sharp there. But then he cuts all kinds of paper, right? Wow, where did he cut it with? That part. That's my brother Charlie. Oh! Oh! He looks like me, huh? Yeah. Looks like you too. <laughs> yeah. It's uh, you know, it's the Hawaiian stuff at uh, in Hawaii. I like good eating. Oh. Know, huh? John D. Virgilio, Charlie. Yeah. yeah. It's Terrence. Terrence. My pleasure, sure, Terrence. Okay. So, real quick, get a recap. Our main target is the what? Hands. Hands and all those nice fingers that can cut off. All right. <coughs> Second thing is, what kind of mind should you have? I don't care, but still attentive mind. Don't. You've got to have a clear mind. Be good enough to feed the other person's mind, though. Fill it with all kinds of baloney. All right. What else is there? Practice makes things, yeah. as the timing becomes, people become slower. Okay. What else? Should I go for his body? Never go for the body. What if I did go for his body? Does he always feel it right away? May not feel it, right? Sharp blade cuts right through flesh. You don't feel a pain until a second or two after. Meanwhile, you can come back and what? And here you are fooling around trying to pull your blade out and you get stuck. We have a double loss here. Worthless. Alright? When you play hand against hand, you go for the body. Play weapons, you go for the... Okay. Good. So far, so good. Carry a third blade for... In case you need to throw one of his blade, you have a second one.
Where's the shark? Up there. Up there. Why do you need a chin? Yes, it's a catch, right? The tang is a bigger catch. When you feel something touch your tang, twist your wrist, cut his hand. You touch my tang. Twist your wrist. If I were this way, I always never keep your blade extended. You cut your hand. See, so let's drop it. Cut. I lose my hand. The most dangerous part in blade is when your hand's extended. It's the most exposed. Whenever you get extended, quickly turn your blade time. So in case he comes back to cut, ah, I touch my tang. So I do what? Get it done. I'm stuck in there. I'm just going to flash right off. Okay? So whenever it's extended, if you need to pull it back, you should turn it on. Never just pull it back like this. As he follows, I say I missed him. Damn, I tried to pull it back. And I, don't think, I don't care how fast you think you are, you're not fast enough to not get cut. Turn it on and save your hand. All right, enough of the talk. Uh, quickly get some space out there. Spread yourself out a little bit here. Come on that side. How about that side? Facing this way. Don't worry, we'll take a whole bunch of short breaks in case you guys are on the restroom and get a sip of water. Alan's house is dry, man. I came out and looked like a piece of beef jerky. <laughs> mm, mummy fire. Was that the heater you had on all last night? Yeah, I looked like a prune this morning. Okay. I'm trying to help you lose weight, John. Huh? Put your hands on. Push them down. Get all the tendons. Don't jerk it yet. All the tendons up. Alright. Out. In. Out. In. Stretch out your tendons. These things do not practice. Come up to you. Alright. I get burn out. Strain too quickly. Warm them up, sure. Keep them there. Up. And you know, push from your elbows. Up. 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 Now we work the tens below and then the elbows. Stretch in here. Okay. Hold them out. Okay. Grab your swords, those who have swords. I think we have enough for everyone. Yeah, we should. <clears throat> we should. Hey, you get those swords? Where are those swords? Where do you get them from? Uh, they're the martial arts. Oh, arts. Oh, that's okay. Hey, they're the martial arts. How far does the skill go here at Hamilton? Thank you. Shit, one away. Oops. Uh, or, uh, you sure. That one's probably coming out.
nice weight. You want that? No, no, no. I brought my junk of I didn't bring any nice, I was afraid to confiscate out of my bag. My girl, John Paul, it's okay. Okay, folks, put your blades side by side in front of you. I should grab mine. Like that. Too much though. Hit yourself. Just get it straight up. Stretch them out slowly. If you go too fast, you're going to end up straining your tendons in your wrist. Nice and slow, we'll do it.
Turn and pivot and reach one, pull one. Looking at your point this way. Okay. Try again. From here. Turn. Don't put the sharp part down over here now, guys. Bad, bad. Get it up there, yeah. Don't hang down over here. Get it up. Okay. Back again. Turn. Back. The other side. Facing your opponent. Straight in front of you. Straight in front of you. <clears throat> These days aren't sharp. Push them all. Okay. Minor. Okay, don't need to rest them now. Come back to swear. Okay. Okay. Just put them down. Hang. Okay, who knows all this already? Pretty well. Everyone? First time? Yeah, they step to the end. Rest the guys up, 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 up. So we know who to pick on. <laughs> okay. Travis, you know this? A little bit. <laughs> you don't know what? You don't know what company over here. Larry, Terrence, and, and uh, Sergio know it the best, and and Nathan. Okay. And then, uh, okay. yeah, it's been studying with us. Okay, get me quickly here first. See the base. Go ahead. Base. You guys are watching. Keep watching. No, no, no. You guys just watch. Go ahead. Good. Okay, you saw. Start from here, Lisa, though. Start from here, from the beginning. So you know, so down, keep down low. First time, huh? So let's take the time. Pull it across. Kick out. And forward. And jab first. Jab is good. Step hand. Step hand. Jab. Turn on. Jab. Right. Go 
Okay. Uh, common mistakes are don't don't let this flare too high. Very low. And you pull it across. And I know. You pull it across. Don't have it facing out like this. Keep it right in the uh, No. Keep it like this a little bit. Or in case you're taking these. There's a lot of your head up on this side. Yeah, a careless thing you can have your car on. I don't think it's You should go forward. Yeah. Pull it off, forward in the side. Forward. Okay. And when you do sit and open them up, how far away should you be? Well, if you look carefully, it's about. Close to you. Just peek over right in front of your hips. Just above and just in front of your hips. No wider than your hips either. Align with your legs and hips. Just inside your hips. Okay. All right. Okay, quickly we need for you to find yourself uh, partner, uh, any partner, you find. Everyone's got a partner? Alright. <clears throat> we can do this with steel, but you know what? Your nice blades get all digged up. And pieces of metal start flying around, so it's good to have eyewear eventually. Otherwise, you will get crap in your eyes. This is a shard of metal, not so good. If that happens, something we teach you. Make sure you tell a doctor that shards of metal so they have a special magnet to start pulsing their stuff off. The worst thing you can do is rub your eyes. Be worse. Okay, so everyone should have had some kind of eyewear, but it looks like you don't, so you gotta be careful. Okay. Is that your eyewear? Yeah. Go ahead and get them out. Okay, get your eyewear out. And then pair up. One partner should grab a stick. A short stick over there. Keep the rest of us nice enough in the sun all morning. Yeah. <laughs> Cutting down a little tree in the backyard. Okay, now the base part is a real crucial part. We gotta go over. I'm gonna come back to this all day long. We're gonna come back to it again and again and again and again and again. You gotta watch because it's even working with wood, no pieces of wood start flying out. Uh, so be very careful. So today, folks, we're working at walking speed. Okay? That's a big difference from talking speed. It's just getting faster and faster. Walking speed. A real slow kind of walk. Don't, don't rush it. Okay, come on out. Wood people face this way. Steel people face them. Steel person. Okay. Who's a steel person? You got them all? Lisa. Okay. Good. All right. Slack yourself one side. Let's pick the right hand forward. So steel people, you're like this. Turn with the right leg forward. Have we all done it? Have we all done this? Yeah. Okay, let's warm them up then. So first of all, we want to touch the facing side. Let them touch it. Just touch. Just touch. Bring it back a little. Touch. Bring it back. Touch. 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 Okay, good. Try to touch, touch the back side. Let them turn the weight.
Touching back. Touching the front side. So stay on guard. Stay on the stomach guard. Touch. Touch. Touch the side.
Keep touching. 
Okay, hold it up, shake it out. Okay, next one, we're going to need the feeders to go on that side. And you want to clear all these stories up in this area. It'll be a different one. The feeders are on this side. And we're going to add, so far we've got two dimensions, left and right, left and right. Now, the bad guy, the feeder, then give you left and right, plus, instead of going to the this side, this side, we're going to go through here, right through your thigh. Whoa. You need to drop the blade, come and draw the foot, and draw. You've got to draw both feet, step draw. Okay. Right, right guard forward. Okay, so so far, take a look. So far, we're touching over here. We're touching over here. Right now, when I go low, he needs to gong, pull the foot. Not too much though. Just pull the foot, just a little bit and a little bit. What are you going to pull? One. What's wrong with that? You missed that over slash cross. You gotta pull what? Gong. One, two. Alright? Alright? What if I do this? I'm over here. I went to gong and I leave this leg over here. Can I if I spend so much time pulling this extra twelve? What happened to this guy? You yeah. got left. Don't we sell those false legs too? The one that pays. We got patches for your eyes now and wooden legs. Right? We got wooden, we got wooden legs. Okay. Made now. So the trick is what? Gone, pull, and change side. We're gonna walk this through real slow. Not an easy move. Okay, here we go. Watch this now. Watch, watch. Right leg for. Poor Terrence is our man of the day. So we touch, first we touch him on the front side. We touch on the back side. Okay, now parents, real slow. Gone. No, there. Gone. Try your foot. Try your foot, turn that way. Yep. Gone. And draw the foot. Go a little more. And draw the foot. Now, okay. oh. I'll, I'll peek. Look, the damn bad guy, he's just trying to kill me. So I go over here, I go, damn it. I don't want to make over here now. Just, so he drops my leg, I got cut, boom. I got cut, boom. I got to cut this off. He may go for my hand even. Damn, it goes for my hand. You got to raise your hand. You gotta raise your hand. Give it off. So, you know what? Guys, come back over here. Feet just stand there like statues for now. Okay. Okay, ready. Feet in the right guard. Okay, the feeders now. The feeders, stand good. Stand good. Feeders, stand there. Guys, steal. Square, square. Pivot. Okay, let's do in the air. Feeders don't move. Turn, gone, draw, draw. Yeah. Gone, push forward, draw on top. Try again. 
Gong, draw, draw. This left guard now. Now gong with the left, draw the left, turn. Gong. Gong. No, no legs forward now, guys. A little forward is okay, but try again. Come back up. This is the hard part. That's what we get Stage three. Okay, right hand guard. Ready? Gong, draw. Pull back. Machine. Pull left. Pull right. Pull left. Learn this 80. I didn't really figure it all out and get it real down to 1996. How many years is that? You guys only have 16 minutes, right? Okay, square. Turn. Noon. Draw one. Draw two. Noon. Draw one. Turn side. Draw two. Noon. Draw right and left. Then left. Draw. 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 Ah! Shouldn't have any foot forward. Okay, try again. Come up front. It's okay. Let me know, not so easy in this part. Okay, square first, start square. Okay, right forward guard. Ready? Draw the right, noon, or down. And then push the blade forward, left. Left side. Right side. Alyssa on film there, Alan. So. Using her blackmail to show them here later on. efficiency, I think. That's good. Yeah. Hey. So, so yeah, this battle tonight, only six out of ten will last it. Alright. Here we go. Stand forward the guard without pushing the leg. Okay. Calm it down. Reach it down. Well, I'll turn now. Look, I'm still turning this way. Okay. Uh, 
Okay, now draw and change. Um, <coughs> change. Um, draw. Draw. Um. 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 Okay, too close to these guys over here. Okay. Um. You pull it off? No, see? You're almost. But it's not pulled off. Yeah, it is pulling. Mm, it's not, not quite pulled off. Almost. So I gong, I draw. I'm still sliding about a second person in the leg, see? I just changed side. Again, just give your own this time, no? There's no pressure for me to give you the eyeball. Just feel it as if it's mom's cooking at home. Not so easy, so good. Take care, go slow. Go ahead, on your own. Step draw. Step draw. This is supposed to be our third week of doing this. And our third week, we had this in. Okay? The first two weeks, you're just going side to side, side to side. And we had the third dimension in. Open your legs. Okay. Come, fish to that. Stay fishing. Stay there, just swing a bit. Just 
Objectives are in this order. Go for the strike. If not, a jam. If not, a trap. Fourth one, better run. Slip by and get going. Do not get too caught up. The more caught up you are, you're trying to hold him, the more caught up you are, right? The more you're holding him, 
who is just a stuck. You! Touch and go, guys. So you got to transfer Michi Sao from a dumb game of chasing hands, because it can lead to that eventually. When you don't push your skill outside the box, you're going to end up playing this game called chasing hands. It goes nowhere. It's a dead end. And it's going to take a long time to deconstruct. Waste your time. So whenever you have a touch, whatever your hand is, you touch, boom. Why should I go for a trap with you? I'm going to go for the cut punch, see? Cut, this cover is just enough. Cut this end, just enough. Enough for a strike. Let the other four SOB go looking around for the traps and all that. Everything comes from and returns to the punch. Everything. The 10,000 things come from the punch. So when you do your chi sao, it's important to find what's called the 80% posi position. What is the 80% position? Anyone know what 80% means? Uh, <clears throat> yeah, uh, I, I'm rolling with him in a way, whereas I never and never should you punch or kick more than 80% power. Go fast, be quick, but never commit more than, if any possible, commit less than 80%. Anything more than 80% becomes a trap to your part. It's a sellout of all or nothing, which we don't want. So never have to punch with karatista. No, we want to slip in, even at 50%, and feel that he's fighting it just enough or not enough. You don't know. We're always trying to find just enough. Then I know at the 80% position I can transform, morph the hand, right? Change position. Double check. So an 80% 80% power at the most, and 80% extension, he should be able to know whether you can slip the punch or morph into a new position. All right. If he goes to a new position, you must strike on the third count. Do not waste more than three counts without striking. You're wasting your time and chasing hands. So, 80%. So, you know, Dayton and Al, they got this down pat. I'm going to use the phrase, the phrase, just enough. It's a special phrase for your mind. Most people think just enough is a negative, right? Eh, he did just enough to get by. Just enough, that's a crap. No. The true person who understands just enough realizes the person who does just enough is the most masterful person. You know, you, you go to surgery, you hope the doctor only cuts... Just enough. Just enough. You get a little uh, circumcision when you're a kid, you hope the doctor cuts... Just enough. Right. Right? So when you move, be so efficient, you never overextended, you never overpowered it, you never underpowered, you just did what? Enough. Just enough. Ah, Sifu, how low should I keep my ma? Just enough. Just enough. Well, how hard should I punch? Just enough. Just enough. But just enough is a floating scale. If you're a Mickey Mouse soccer player, you're playing against Pele. He's using, for his just enough, 30% of his skill. And here you are pushing 110%, you can't even keep up with him, right? So you're just enough and beware. Way yeah. beyond you, you can't, can't do it. So you cannot know just enough. The answer to your just enough questions, unless you have a partner. And Wing Chun is the bloom of all seed. Wing Chun comes from your partner. The partner, by feeding you punches and looks, help you find just enough. Just so today we're touching the blades. Aim small, touch small. Just enough. enough. A little harder, touch little. Just enough, a little harder. harder. Yeah. Really hard. Well, maybe just enough should be, I'm not there at all, all right? Pull back. Oh, it's super hard, but I couldn't avoid it. I'm stuck. I have to face it. I use two blades. Just. Few people understand that phrase, just enough. They have this negative thought what just enough really is. But it's truly a masterful person who can do just enough.
just enough. Yeah? You go to university, they want you to do just enough to get an A. Well, you need to know. You know what that is, right? But if you're just enough like me, I only got B's, that's okay. Two master's degrees later, it's still all right. Yeah, a couple of master's degrees, I <laughs> pissed them all over the wall. I don't know. <laughs> but it's just enough. So today, when you touch, are you going to bang it away? Tang! No, just enough. Because there's something called qi do. I think the northern people call it qi dao. Dao. Do you have qi dao? Do? You call it do also? Uh, do, I think. No, no, the sword. Oh, the sword. Uh, dao. To the jin dao, yes. Yeah, you missed it. Mandarin Dao, Sub Cantonese Dao. Do. So, Chi Dao, how to stick with your weapon? Just enough. I know where it is, but I'm touching it, right? It's still flying around, but I know where it is? Hell, you don't want that. So, you touch his weapon, try to stick to it. Pulls out, follow it. Pushes, try to yield to it. Right? But please remember that phrase whenever you're touching hand or weapons. Just enough. You're making love to your woman, you do it. I'm not saying that. some guys who think they're cowboys. <laughs> yeah! You put the whole thing, slip it out, dumb. You know, and poor woman never enjoys S6 again. Stupid. Right? Be an Italian. Right? You, know, I'm you know how to do it just right. Okay? That's right. <laughs> just enough. All right, so when we touch today, some of you are still going, you know, funny, you're not having a purpose of mind. You're trying to draw what? The skill. Okay. So today, we went left and right, and the third dimension covered low gate. It should have been three weeks to get there, but it takes that long. That's another proverb of any kind of goon food is proper progression, which we're not following today at all. We're just going too much. And the fourth gate will be covering over here with you. Fifth week we return to the gong with dunes because we can start tucking your hand, turn your hand. Gotta raise your hand up. Be careful. But it takes a handful of weeks to get the touch ability to base down the fold in the wall. So this is not a set centered system, is it? It's a system of partners finding just enough. Known in Wing Chun as economy of movement. Efficiency of action. All right, got that. All right. So in our world, Wing Chun, we have a lot of low stances. Ah, shuffling, pivoting, and walking. Anything else we need? Hell no. That's all we need. It's just enough. Shuffling, pivoting, walking. So a grand total of six sets. If you count the weapons. All the sets are strictly dictionary. It's flat picture, give an idea. You need to go see your partner and make it alive. It's forbidden for Wing Chun practitioners. If there's any forbidden thing, is to make sets living. Then you become set centered. You spend all your practice team with 100 sets, and you're going to be making more and more and more and more. And you get no ability in, on application. You think you got, it's called false, false, false confidence. Triple false. That just makes sense. Okay? So when you try to order sets, we got a funny guy the first set. Oh, my goodness, because people to sleep. Second set. Third set. Ah, dummy set. Okay, a little pretty, huh? Some, right? Gotcha. Overall, do we win any awards for good looks? You only get the ugly bottle award, you know, the bottle collection, that smoky bottle on the fifth row, up on the far end, yeah. that's you guys. Man, the thing that was in that bottle, the essence of the taste, was the best, right? So there's some beauty in it. So, let's pick up our things again. We want to just do it in the air. I'm going to come back tomorrow and do that third dimension part. Again, we don't want you to die on it. Okay, then we need to start walking sets, sections. Okay. I think you see who's got up there. Oh, yeah.
<laughs> okay, gang. Let's face the wall. The black wall will not attack you. Have fun today. Now, do we want our legs sticking out like this? No. You know, the famous uh, sword master and killer of Manila is the Mistrissimo. The all these guys doing their extreme of Charlie, looking around. You make big noise with your sticks. And you go to see Mistrissimo, the guy who killed the most. Actually, open fight. Don't you do the talk talking? Yeah, I'll show you. How about that? Bullshit. And all your fights, what was the most efficient thing? This way, this way, cutting, cutting, moving around, cutting and drawing. You didn't have any of that? No, coming apart too. Jab, slice, slices, jabbing, pulling back, moving your feet. So man and wise, guys and guys. Comes from the man himself. Okay? No prettiness in it. The base section of jabbing, pulling, twisting off the corners, short cuts. Right? That's all we really need. Okay, here we go. Hold your blades parallel. Cern. Cern. Parallel. Parallel square. Any legs sticking out? No. Are the hands sticking out? No. Pull them back. Slant. Reach to the right. Change side here. Try to change in the air. Change in the air. Change in the air. Okay, I want you to step, draw. Step, draw, and change. Step, step back out. Step back, that foot, draw, and change. Step back, draw and change. Step, draw and change. Change. Right? Change. 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 Oh, I love the camera. Is that you can put back? What was your name again? Yeah, don't put the foot back until you're exposed to the cut. Don't put that foot back as square as possible. Okay, one more time. Change. Drop both feet. One, two. All right, try again. So we'll just change the blade here. Side to side. You cannot leave your foot forward now because the guy's swinging. He pokes at your leg. Is he just going to pull it back? Sometimes no, right? He's going to poke it. Cross cut. Both legs get the hell out of there. Here we go. Stand square. Oh, we don't like this open thing too much, so we're going to slap it off. Right hand knee. Here we go. Draw one foot and change. Draw the back foot. So a lot of people think you can't do it because it's weighted, right? Look at that. He's going to draw a light foot. You know, Wing Chun's tricky when you have even legs here, right? Okay. Draw. 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 Okay, now when you draw, how about doing a gong? You draw. 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 Parents, you'll watch it. Too far. Too far. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Draw. Um. Okay, watch out, Larry. You're getting too close. Okay. You come back up the whole time. Tomorrow, I'm going to start feeding against your legs. You're going to cut. Make sure you get this down right. Here we are. Square. Turn. Great guard. Draw. We're going to draw. Just gong it. Draw. 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 
Okay, so it turns you kind of good here, yeah? Yeah, we just change it out with practice with it. Okay, draw. 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 Good. Okay, good. Come back. Okay, so tomorrow we're going to be working small touches to left and right. And you'll stick your leg and draw it out of there. The leg's still there, it's going to get cut. Make the leg cut in there. Okay. Alright, so let's do section one. Feet together. Your bed. Oh, sorry. Your bed. And the water here, man. I got the indigestion of water. California water. It tastes like S H I. Yeah. 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 See if I can take Mexico forward. Well, I got to lose weight. My wife has been bugging me about the old boy is bug more. Dumb apps disease. Dumb apps. I was his age. See my soccer pictures in high school. All star. Football and soccer, and he's like a Greek god. <laughs> Roman god. Yep. No, I'm only a Greek. <laughs> okay, here we go. Opening section first. I on your cloak show nothing. Draw, turn, reach through. I'm just going to reach over here and draw. Keep it tight now, don't keep it out. Okay, turn your toe. Slant thrust, jamming kick. Why do we use a jamming kick? We want to attack this pelvic girdle to bottom way to give us time. All right? Because you may not have a good shot at the groin or anything else. You may turn, right? So we're attacking what? Pound that pelvic girdle, pound it out. Boom, open. Forward. Jab. Left. See, con. Jump. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, up, one, two, three, four, jump. Now here's the part we get ugly on. Try to get this right. Turn 30 degrees only left, center line left. Drop this down, facing the floor. Push this forward. Okay, turn by lifting the blade. Come. Face the floor. Forward. Okay. Watch now. Capture. Right foot is slightly set back. See, look. Come back. Pull. Down. Up to the floor. Up to the floor. Push. Like you were serving up. You get in here. So push it forward. Okay. Down. Other side. Capture this side. Offset. Good. Set. Now only small bend the knees. Don't put too much bend. Come on. Come on. Come on. Section one. Again. Section one. Come on. Come on. Come on. some gongs in the air. Gong is to disperse down to the ground. Easier to disperse force to the ground than lifting the ground uh, against force. So gong, you touch, good to pull to the ground. Disperse it down to the ground. Do not let the force stay high on you. Okay? So 
push it down, press for the upper hand. But not, how far? Not more than 80%. Too far. Bring it back. Face the ground. Change. Down. Down. Okay, never ever gong inside your hand. Why not? Hit the <laughs> We have plenty of people who do that in the Wing Chun world. Including the Grandmaster's son, I look at him. I said, oh boy, I heard stories he never learned from his father. He made this whole thing up. He's like this. Oh. Instead of capturing on the side, capture like this, the pole. <laughs> the pole right there. That would just flash right through Lose that. Your teeth. Oh. Okay. So you just try again. Gong. So we've got to get this gun. Gong. Ready? To your left. Center line. How much? How many degrees? 30 degrees. If we use hand, we go up to 45, right? But in swords, it's extended out, extended out here. So do you need to pivot as much? Less, right? And the elbow is here, not here. So two elbows. The elbow for the sword is in the wrist. Don't ever think you have a huge elbow to chop with your elbow. Want to get cut. So where? The wrist. Here we go. Okay, drop it down, gong, and push this forward. Slightly. Just push it down, gong, push it on forward. Okay, push and turn. 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 Oh, check this out. Point to the floor. Keep it on your heels or whole foot. Don't keep, don't be duck mom. Just you know, walk into the duck. Turn. 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 Take this off. Turn. Keep your hand over there. In front of you, not like this now. And don't be dead like this. Or turn. Point to the ground, turn. Okay, swing it on. Okay, try to feel your own. Just go ahead and gong, gong, gong. Gong, gong, gong. Gong. Make that turn, you know, 30, 30 degrees on, like a hand. So you cut that pivot down a little wider in your mouth. Turn it a little wider in your mouth. All these shoe guys, a bunch of city dwellers, man. Yeah, right, a little wider. A little wider. The ma is wider than the hand. Just enough, guys. Just enough. Transition. Carve it right from there. Drop it back. See, 